Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with our computer graphics. The next topic here is the display devices. So that's, this is one of the basic component of the interactive graphics system. So that is the display devices. There are different types of display devices are present. Types of display devices. A display devices is nothing but whatever you are able to see the images on which screens that you are seeing that image that is a displaying devices the different displaying devices or crt there is a cathode ray tube random scan random scan raster scan and color crt color crt and even DVST, DVST is nothing but the direct view storage, direct view storage, flat panel display, flat panel display or the plasma panel display, flat or as well as the plasma, plasma panel display. And the final is LCD. So these are all the different display devices. So now let's see what is the first display device that is a CRT. So we will see what is a CRT in this video. The CRT is nothing but the cathode ray tube. So this is one of the important uh, concept CRT. If you know the cathode ray tube concept then uh, the other devices will be easily understood for you. So cathode ray tube, the cathode ray tube is a technology issued in traditional computers, monitors and the televisions. So in the previous uh, days, we will watch the TVs, all the screens that we use are the CRT screens. Okay, but we got the LEDs, LCDs, so many uh, latest versions we are having now. HD. But in the previous days, the technology that we used uh, is the CRT, cathode ray tubes, for, uh, traditional computers, monitors and the television screens. The CRT technology will be used, cathode ray tube. The image on the CRT display is created by firing electronics from back of the tube of phosphorus located towards the front of the screen. Means if you see the screen here, so in the back side of the screen, means a screen just it's just uh, let's take this as a screen okay here you are seeing the picture in this part you are seeing the picture so here you are present here and you are seeing the picture here so the back side of the screen okay here the phosphorus will be coated the back side of the screen a phosphorus is located so the electrons are firing on this phosphorus whatever the that is located towards the front of the screen uh, so the electrons will be fired from the back of the tube so once the electron heats the phosphorus so here the electrons are firing whenever the electrons are firing the phosphorus is getting heated so this is the screen you are seeing and here the electrons are uh, touching the screen okay the back side of the screen touching the screen so here the back side the phosphorus is coated whenever these electrons are heating the phosphorus the lights up the lights up and they projected on a screen the color you view on the screen is produced by the blend of red blue and green lights so uh, the color you are seeing the colorful uh, images on the screen how these colorful images are coming because of the projection of this uh, uh, light which blend uh, blends the red blue and green lights so let me explain this uh, technology with the help of the diagram so here this is the diagram whatever i said so let's imagine this is a tv screen okay you are seeing this is a tv screen okay so here uh, a screen so this is the connector pins here the base will be there electron gun so electron gun which emits the electrons so it just fires the electrons so this firing of electrons will be uh, back side of the screen so this is completely back side of the screen the back side of the screen will be coated with the phosphorus so whenever this electron gun is firing the electrons it going to the focusing screen 
focusing system so based on the deflection whether it is a horizontal or a vertical so based on the deflection of the plates the light beam will be emitted so like this or like this or like this the light beam will be emitted so this is an electron beam okay this is an electron beam so uh, the red blue and green light will be bended and uh, the colorful images will be screen on the uh, seen on the screen so this the, this electron beam will be uh, projected to the back side of the screen so in the back side of the screen phosphorus is coated so because of this phosphorus coated whenever the phosphorus get heated the light will be produced okay so let me explain the each and every component here first let me see this electron gun electron gun the electron gun it consists of a series of elements of heating a filament heater so here whenever the heater uh, this electron gun consisting of a one heater inside the base the one heater is there whenever that heater is get heating and a cathode a series of elements will be produced so it consists of a series of elements uh, a heating of filament heater and a cathode the electron gun creates a source of electrons which are focused into a narrow beam directed at a face of the CRT. So that is the use of this electron gun. Next is the control electrodes. So the control electrodes is nothing but this control grid is there. In between, after this control gun, there is one control grid is there. Okay, A vertical control grid is there. It is used to turn the electrons beam on and off. So what is the use of this grid? It is going to make the uh, this light on and off. Okay, use it to turn the electron beam. So, it is just turning the electron beam on and off. Next is a focusing system. So, this. So, what is the use of this focusing system? It is used to create a clear picture by focusing the electrons into a narrow beam. So, the focusing system is used to create a clear picture by focusing the electrons into narrow beam. So, next is the deflection yokes. The deflection yokes are nothing but these, the horizontal and the vertical deflection yokes. It is used to control the direction of electron beams and creates an electric or magnetic field which will bend the electron beam as it passes through the area. The main use of these yokes or the deflection yokes is going to control the direction of electron beam. The electron beam direction is controlling. So it creates an electro electric or magnetic field which will bend the electron beam as it passes through the area. And the final one is a phosphorus coated, uh, coated screen. So that is the back side of the screen. I said uh, there is a phosphorus uh, coated will be there. So what is the use of this phosphorus co uh, coated screen? The inside front surface of the every CRT is coated with the phosphorus. So it glows when a high energy electron beam hits them. So the main use of this phosphorus is whenever the high energy electron beam hits the screen hits the phosphorus it's glowing okay you are able to see the picture on the screen so this is how the crt will be work so because of these components the crt is going to be uh, produce the light and we are able to see the picture on the screen so, this is the one type of technology, cathode ray tube. Thank you.